In today's world, we face major challenges. How can we mitigate climate change? Can we halt biodiversity loss? Can we make our agriculture sustainable and at the same time produce food for what may soon be 8 billion people? According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the FAO, humankind in fact already produces enough. We did an extremely good job in increasing food. Um, in the last four decades, um, food production was doubled. And actually this poses a question. How did we achieve this and um, um, how can we continue? This is just one of many vital questions addressed by the research program on sustainable land management. Twelve regions around the world with different land use and diverse climatic conditions are examined. These efforts are coordinated in Leipzig by the project GLUES. It examines the interactions between global land use, greenhouse gas emissions and ecosystem services. Ecosystem services are all these services nature provides to human beings for existence and for human well-being. This is something like clean water, agricultural products, but also landscape beauty or scenic beauty. And all these things have been neglected to a far extent. Back to the food question. The agricultural industry achieved the doubling of food production by expanding and intensifying agricultural production. The industry used more water, more fertilizer and more pesticides, but this increase has an obvious downside. We lose biodiversity, we lose native forest, and so there is actually, it's no way to further increase land, and it's no way to further intensify, because we lose also functions. And so the question is, what is the solution? So the solution is um, to close the so-called yield gap wherever it's possible to make a smart increase of further food production. Researchers now identify regions in the world where food production could be optimized in a cleverer and more sustainable way, or in other words, where the yield gap can be closed. For example, on degraded soils in Kalunda, a dry region in the south of Russia, they developed a new agricultural scheme on a test field and yielded 20% more crops. Positive results such as these are collected by the GLUES project and analysed by high-performance computing facilities in Leipzig. Valuable information is presented in an intelligent geodata infrastructure. There is climate data in uh, the system, there's a lot of data about different crops, about economical growth and economical effects by different land use regimes. Uh, there's a lot of data also on socio-economic data like uh, the uh, income and so forth, so you have a vast amount of data. The GLUES Geoportal allows everybody in the world to select, combine and visualise the data they are interested in. The idea is to have a very simple system, simple means that he can use his internet access, a simple internet browser, he gets access to this tool, he can visualize the maps and zoom, roughly zoom, we are still talking about global data sets, zoom to his area, to his region and see the effects that that would have, that a change, a climate change would have for different climate scenarios as being calculated by the climate models. This map, for example, shows the shifts in climate categories during the 21st century. This helps us not only to spot significant global patterns of land use, but also to apply solutions from one region to another. This is actually what is really valuable to show that there are certain land use systems or land use types that have characteristics that we haven't revealed before. The scientists in GLUES also recognize the need to communicate these complex results to an international audience. This information strategy is built on four pillars. The educational web application Land Use, for example. The computer game gives you the experience of being a politician or a land manager, sustainable or not, with more or less success. Secondly, on location, the scientists not only get information from the farmers, they can also be hands-on consultants in sustainable agriculture. This project is very good. Thirdly, local stakeholders and decision makers are also directly addressed, so they are aware of sustainable solutions in their region. And finally, there is the global perspective, presented and discussed at international conventions. 
Germany is deeply engaged in the issue of global land management. We have a global responsibility because we often use soils in other countries. Glues is supported by international advocates of sustainability, such as the former director of the United Nations Environment Programme, Klaus Töpfer. The problems mankind is responsible for are manageable solely by science. Science without boundaries that helps directly with valuable advice. The work that we have set up in the research program and in GLUES is, to my perspective, pretty unique and can act as a blueprint with regional scale work, global consistent frameworks and the communication to the public. And so this could be actually act as a, as a blueprint for further future and global change research. GLUES, a project in collaboration with 12 regional projects, over 500 scientists, hundreds of local stakeholders and thousands of farmers working together to find a new global path to sustainable land management. <laughs>